Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Most of us would have heard about the famous Bofors Howitzer gun which comes as a reminder of infamous Bofors scandal. The lesser known fact is that the gun played a significant role during the Kargil war. The 155mm gun comes with a standard range of 24 km and maximum range of 30 km. Its ability to attack at an angle of 90 degrees was able to target and destroy enemy bunkers at hilltops occupied by Pakistani infiltrators. India has also procured 145M777 Howitzer gun from US at a cost of nearly 5000 crore rupees. The M777 Howitzer is a 155mm 39 caliber towed gun. Out of 145 guns, 25 has come in flyaway condition from US and the rest 120 is assembled in India at Mahindra Defence Facility. The maximum unassisted range of M777 is 24.7 km while the assisted range of this is more than 30 km. The gun can be used to fire 5 rounds per minute for up to 2 minutes. Even though Indian Army has huge requirement of artillery gun, it was dependent on foreign OEMs for its requirement. All thanks to Baba Kalyani who took in charge of development of indigenous artillery gun. He is one of the entrepreneurs for whom we have respect. He invested his money, time and men in development of artillery guns and outcome is now Bharat Forge can forge any type of artillery gun on the planet. The first artillery gun showcased by Bharat Forge was Bharat 52 during Defence Expo 2012. Even without getting any order for artillery guns, the firm continued to develop and improvise its artillery gun and now the outcome of this is AT AGS which cleared all the famous trial of Indian Army and passing their stringent quality parameters and ready for induction. The investment made by Kalyani Group so far has been around Rs 250 crore. The armament system of AT AGS comprises 52 caliber gun barrel with breech mechanism, muzzle brake and recoil system has been designed and developed to fire 155 mm caliber ammunition. AT AGS is not just any artillery gun but the world's best artillery gun with unmatched firepower. But the question is what makes the gun world's best artillery? There are many features because of which the gun is way ahead of its league. ATAGS was able to achieve this because of its optimistic parameters set by DRDO for Bharat Forge while developing the gun. The first feature that gives it massive fire power and range is its 25 litre chamber which no other artillery gun has. The maximum volume of the chamber featured around the world in artillery guns is 23 litres. The bigger chamber allows the gun to fire ammunition with more charge which in turns provide more velocity and the range to the ammunition. This is the reason why AT AGS is able to fire till a range of 48 km while the other artillery guns can fire at a maximum range of 40 km. The difference of 8 km is huge as it keeps the artillery regiment 8 km behind the enemy's artillery and literally untouchable by enemy's artillery gun. Now this is huge advantage when compared with other light or medium artillery in service with Indian Army which has a range of up to 30 km only. ATAGS can fire ERFB BB projectiles in excess of 45 km while other artillery guns in this class can fire this projectile till 40 km only. When we talk about ERFB BT, ATAGS can fire it at a range of 35 km while other gun can fire this ammo till a range of 28 km only. Baba Kalyani has also recently revealed in an interview that Bharat Forge is also working on a rocket assisted hypersonic artillery that can fire up to a range of 120 km. This is definitely going to be a disruptive technology in the world of artillery guns. ATAGS has an all-electric drive configuration, a first in the world which enables relatively maintenance-free and reliable operation over longer period of time. The wear and tear is less as the number of moving parts are reduced considerably. Also, the management of spare parts is easier in case of all-electric drives whereas this becomes a concern for hydraulic or pneumatic assemblies. The ATAGS 
or electric drive operates all its gun control, ammunition handling, opening and closing the breech and ramming the round into the chamber. This makes firing faster and easier. It was not easy to achieve this especially when gun is being developed for the first time. ATAGS has been designed to fire all current 155 mm caliber ammunition in use with the forces. At present, the artilleries around the world are designed to fire shells of 155 mm caliber with up to 6 charge modules and can handle pressure up to 340 megapascals. However, ATAGS can fire existing HE shell M1 ERFB BT or BB for zone 7 charge with service pressure of more than 420 megapascals. So far, more than 500 rounds of Zone 7 with existing ammunition have been fired and there has not been any requirement for any special class or modification. It will also have capability to program and fire future long-range guided munitions or LRGM to achieve precision and deep strikes. The laying speed of ATAGS is 5 degrees per second against the normal 1.52 or 2 degrees per second of towed guns. In burst mode, the rate of fire of ATAGS is 6 rounds in 30 seconds. In intense mode, the rate of fire of ATAGS is 15 rounds in 3 minutes. And in sustained mode, the rate of fire of ATAGS is 60 rounds in 1 hour. The rate of fire of ATAGS is unbeatable. It is due to the shell table with 6 shells in comparison with towed guns with only 3 shell table. The ATAGS has cleared all its trial and is now set for acquisition. The initial order will be for 150 artillery guns worth Rs 3,365 crore which will be divided among two developers, TASL and Bharat Forge. The deal will be split in 60-40 ratio between the lowest bidder L1 and the next lowest bidder L2. The army has total requirement of 1580 artillery guns in this category. Also, as per the latest update from Amit Kalyani, the deputy managing director of Bharat Forge, the company is expecting that ordering process of ATGs will pick up steam and hopefully get completed in this financial year. Bharat Forge has the capacity of about 100 guns in first year and will be increased to 200 gun per year from the next year onwards. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.